Un cohete Atlas 5, el último cohete Atlas 5 en lanzar desde la costa oeste de los Estados Unidos, desde Vandenberg, la fuerza, la base espacial, la base aérea de Vandenberg, eh, lanzando un satélite para NOAA, la agencia eh, ambiental, la agencia oceánica y atmosférica de los Estados Unidos, y además un demostrador inflable de reingreso de un demostrador de tecnología. Así que eh, este, este despegue va a ser realmente espectacular. Es el NOAA-20, el primer lanzamiento de este tipo de satélite, el JPSS-1. Bueno, va a ser la marca de cuatro minutos esto. Marca. Cuatro minutos para el lanzamiento. Ahora sí, ¿eh? Now in terminal count. Conteo terminal, ¿eh? Ahora sí. So from T4 minutes, T minus 4 minutes until launch, you'll be listening to the ULA team perform those final steps in the countdown procedure. Yeah, as we hear the team, they just uh, uh, got the ground pyros ready for the uh, liftoff hold down bolts. We'll hear them uh, bringing up uh, the command sequencers and a few other things, including that flight termination system that we talked about that replacing that battery earlier. Recuerden que ahora en el momento del lanzamiento vamos a poner el volumen al máximo. Voy a tratar de hablar lo menos posible para poder disfrutar. Si nos comparten un muy buen, un buen sonido que espero de esos, de esos dos motores del cohete este Atlas V. Último lanzamiento de un Atlas V desde Vandenberg. Also transferring the Atlas and Centaur stages from me ground gustaría, to me gustaría que se calle esta There gente también. ¿eh? Pressure. Darrell, por favor, Darrell, por favor, Liz, silencio. There we go. Coming up in just about 30 seconds, the team will command the launch sequencer to start. That'll be followed shortly by securing the Centaur. Liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen top bueno, no, no puedo poner el volumen al máximo porque vamos a escuchar a Darrell hablando, hablando, hablando. No puedo creerlo. El satélite lo van a renombrar NOA-21, dice Juanex. Gracias, Juanex. Menos dos minutos. Comenzó la secuencia automática. Centaur, LH2. 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 There's the arming of the flight termination system. T minus 90 seconds. Acaban de armar, o sea, de poner eh, operable el sistema terminador de vuelo. Si algo sale mal, destruyen el cohete. Y eso lo pueden hacer el director de vuelo y el range también. We should hear shortly that the Centaur vehicle is at flight verification. Vent valve locked. There's the vent valve shut. Pressures on their way to flight levels. No da Rock tiempo. Vamos a un minuto. Rock, range is green. Range great news. Is green. Yes, range is green. That's great news. Ready to move forward. If you're just joining us, we are just seconds away, 50 to be exact, from launching JPSS-2, a new weather observatory that will track storms across the globe Arrel, as it orbits the planet. Arrel, por favor, 40 seconds. 40 segundos. Dejen de hablar, por favor. It will also launch Please, Lofton, a technology talking. demonstrator developing a new way to safely bring large payloads through the atmosphere. Stop talking, man. The Stop seconds. talking. No puedo creerlo. Me enojo, me enojo. 25 seconds. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go JPSS2. There we go, Daryl. Ready for launch this morning. On a clear night in California, here we go. 
T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition. And lift off, lift off of the Atlas V carrying JPSS-2 and Lofton, a new weather observatory for our planet and a test for planetary exploration. Yeah, Gerald, as you heard uh, Omar Baez say, LSP-100 on its way also. We're very happy for this 100th mission the Launch Services Program. Let's listen in as Jesse Gonzalez and coming up on 30 seconds on the flight vehicle is a half mile in altitude, flight. two miles down range. Traveling at 160 miles per hour. And passing 45 seconds of the flight, continuing to see good operating parameters out of the RD-180. The power of the Atlas V RD-180. Coming up on a minute into flight, the whole thing uh, is ending its roll maneuver. And vehicle body rates are looking good. Comenzó la maniobra de rollo, o sea, de giro. Y todo está normal. Getting ready and approaching Mach 1. Se está aproximando la velocidad del sonido. Mach 1, acaba de decir Darwin. Yeah, passing through 80 seconds into flight. Uh, Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. Bueno, supersonico ahora. That's 769. And vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Bien ahí, pasó por 769 miles per hour, 1,234 kilometers an hour. Going through the area of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. And passing 100 seconds into flight, seeing the RD-180 throttle back as expected. Engine response continues to look good, and vehicle body rates continue to look good at this time. Se quedan desacelerados los motores un poquito para mantenerse dentro del régimen de velocidad. El vehículo está ahora 12 miles en altitud, 7 miles down range, traveling at 1500 miles per hour. 20 kilómetros de altitud. No puedo creer que no pongan la telemetría y que la tengan que relatar. Y la relatan en millas. Aníbal Luna, buenos días. Uy, tomé la transmisión a la cuenta regresiva. Vamos arriba, dale, fuerza. And passing 140 seconds into flight, the uh, vehicle has gone to closed loop control. Uh, 140 seconds of lanzamiento ya. Phase. So the rocket was flying in a trajectory that's programmed in, but now closed loop is taking positional feedback from the rocket sensors to get it into the proper line for trajectory. It's going to be a set line. Beautiful shot there. Como si en esas llamas. Now pressurizing the flight parecía level. circular. A shot from our infrared camera. Y la NASA, Tony, que uh, es del locutor de NASA, uh, eh, de Relaciones Públicas, Darrell, uh, el parecido a Clark Kent, que no se calla. Um, start cooling down that Centaur engine in the second stage to prepare for its super chilled propellants. Están enfriando la etapa, la segunda etapa para el preparándose para para encenderla dentro de muy poquito. Miles down range, traveling at 5800 miles per hour. And now seeing the RD-180 throttle back to maintain a 5.0G uh, uh, G acceleration limit. Engine response continues to look good. Acaban de desacelerar para mantenerse en We're just seconds away now from booster engine cutoff. And we did see a good response on the Centaur systems as it completed boost phase drill down. Y acaban de apagar los boosters. And we have Bico, booster engine cutoff. Bico se llama And we have successful stage separation. Y han separado las etapas con éxito. Y ahora están con la etapa Centauro. Que es esta. La están encendiendo. Y Lo hemos pedido. Eso Frodo pedía, pero no nos hacen caso. Un canal sin comentaristas. 
floating off into space. Lo hemos dicho muchísimas veces a SpaceX y no nos ha hecho fuerte. Bueno, ahí vemos, ahí vemos las, las cofias. Se han separado las cofias con éxito. Uh, body rates on the vehicle look very good uh, with payload fairing gone. Uh, JPS is too exposed to the environments of space. As it uh, warms the motor catalyst beds for operation. Explain quickly what a body rate is. So the body rates, the attitude of Centaur uh, as the vehicle is uh, tr uh, moving through space. Uh, we're trying to keep everything as stable as possible. So we have an X, Y, and a Z body rate on the Centaur. And, uh, The flight computer and the RCS system uh, continue to maintain that as uh, we uh, move through to get ready for uh, separation. And now we're moving to ULA's real-time animation. Six minutes in flight, the vehicle is now 250 miles in altitude, 430 miles downrange, traveling at 9,400 miles per hour. The animation is informed by real-time data. As we watch the RL-10 burn and the Centaur fly, at the top of the vehicle is JPSS-2. And there you're looking at the RL-10 RL as it continues its burn. And coming up on seven minutes into flight, uh, continuing to see stable performance across all Centaur systems, uh, stable tank pressures. Good performance out of PU and um, some minor uh, roll adjustments as uh, Centaur optimizes the telemetry link. So Centaur with plenty of performance to get there. Plenty of performance and everything's looking great. As we heard uh, Jesse say, everything is uh, performing nominally as we get ready to uh, continue this burn for separation. We're going to keep watching the data and listening to the launch team as we track the performance of the Centaur getting JPSS-2 into orbit. But in the meantime, let's send it back to Megan. If you're just joining us, I'm NASA's Megan Cruz, bringing you live launch coverage from Vandenberg Space Force Base along the central coast of California. Just about seven minutes, 34 seconds ago, we watched as a, a United Atlas, uh, United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket lifted off at 1.49 well, a.m. Pacific time, and it was a spectacular sight. What a clear night. Uh, no clouds in sight. That rocket just lit up the dark sky. It's flying two important missions today. The primary one is to send JPSS-2 into orbit. It's the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Joint Polar <laughs> Weather Satellite. The secondary mission is called Lofted, which will demonstrate a new type of heat shield that inflates for atmospheric reentry. We're going to stay with you live for every important mis mission over the next two hours. NASA's primary launch site is Kennedy Space Center in Florida, but we lifted off from California this morning because of the rocket's flight path. By launching on the West Coast, bueno, nos está mostrando de que están lanzando de California. No sé por qué está diciendo esto. Eh, me encantaría seguir viendo la telemetría en un lugarcito, por lo menos, qué es lo que está sucediendo. Vamos, vamos a Dani haciendo ir siempre gracias. No, no, por favor. No me tomen el pelo. Eh. Me estoy dejando la barba, eh. Me estoy dejando la barba, a ver si me crece. No me tomen el pelo. Joining us now is Jim Yo from the National Weather Service. Thanks so much for being here, Jim. A pleasure to be here to talk about JPSS2 and how the Weather Service is going to use data from it to get the best de, de clima. for the nation. Absolutely. And speaking Van a hablar of that, sobre, most of us sobre el satélite que están lanzando el JPS2, so que es justamente es para el servicio de administrador oceánico y atmosférico. La agencia, NOAA. 
antes de Campira, Javier. Bueno, para quienes se sumaron a la versión corta del lanzamiento, les agradezco mucho haber estado acá. Suscríbanse al canal, activen todas las notificaciones y dejen un me gusta que nos hace muy bien, además de compartir este streaming en todas las redes sociales. Gracias. ¿eh?